Hello everyone, my name is Palarletti and now that we're in 2020, I feel like I want to expand my horizons. I have a lot of goals for this year and for 2020, I don't want to pressure myself to accomplish these goals because I know for 2019, the pressure just took away the motivation for me to accomplish these goals. So the only difference for me this year is that yes, I'm gonna stay motivated, but I'm gonna take away the pressure and I'm just gonna work at my own pace. Which brings me to the point that, yes, I wanna expand my horizons and I wanna be a little bit more daring. And I think I'm gonna accomplish that by using color when it comes to interiors. I tend to gravitate towards colors that are neutral and soft pastels. And those colors are great, there's nothing wrong with that. But for 2020, I think the colors that will be popular are highly saturated and subdued, yet warm. And I'm gonna be discussing that with you today. sharing these colors in any particular order because I do think they're all very beautiful and they all work differently in their own way. One thing they have in common is that these colors are warm, they're cozy, they will offer your home with that moody feeling that I think that's what people are looking for in 2020. And people are moving away from the cool toned colors and opting more towards the earthy toned colors that are warm and cozy and calm at the same time. The first color I'm gonna be discussing is Burnt Orange. I think it was already very well used in 2019 and it will continue to be very popular in 2020 just because this color is vibrant without being too, too bright and in your face. The brown undertones of Burnt Orange make it very easily to pair with and make it a great neutral to pair with in your home as well. And if you're into red or wine and you're not very sure about using it in your own home, I think burnt orange is a great compromise. Green, but not just any green, but olive green. Why does it work? Well, this color has a warm undertone. It's earthy, it's rich, but at the same time, it's kind of subdued. And I think it could be used as a neutral, why not? Consider using it in bigger pieces of furniture and not just soft furnishings like throw pillows. Now, let's move on to pastels, my very favorite. I have a soft spot for pastels in my heart, but these pastels are a bit more sophisticated, if I dare to say, because they have a very kind of serene feeling, calming effect, and they're also quite sophisticated. They're not too babyish, and I think they work very well at interiors. Dusty Blue Gray has always been my favorite shade of blue because it's very sophisticated. It's not too babyish like baby blue would be, it also has that warm undertone to it, that warm gray that makes it very special and very usable in interiors as well. It's very easy on the eye and I think that's why it's gonna be a very successful color in 2020, just as it was in 2019. I use it a lot. Now, of course, I'm gonna talk about Dusty Pink. That is my favorite shade of pink ever and it's such a wearable color, not only in clothing, but in interiors. It's very sophisticated, feminine, romantic, and girly, without being too girly or too babyish. It's always my goal. This color, to me, is a neutral, and I would even consider using it in bigger spaces like living rooms or master bedrooms, why not? Uh, and I wouldn't just resort to using it in nurseries because I think colors need to be inclusive. It's a great color that we will see more of in 2020. Lilac. When was the last time you heard of lilac? Nobody talks about that color anymore. Is it popular? Well, if it's not popular, it will be popular in 2020. This color to me, again, is a neutral. It's very usable. It's easy to pair with creams, taupes, and it's a great transition color, I find, because it's soft, 
but at the same time it's livable and it offers your home with that unexpected punch of girliness and romantic feeling without it being pink. Now that we've discussed the color colors, let's move on to the real neutrals. Let's move. I'm going to start with gold. Gold has always been one of my favorite metals because it just looks really good with my skin tone. I have a natural uh, yellow undertone to my skin. For interiors, gold serves as a perfect transition color. It's timeless. It offers luxuriousness, opulence. It also lightens and brightens spaces. And I think if you add a little touch of gold in any interior, you will definitely find an enhancement in it, I think. Silver in interiors, if you're not considering it for your hardware, you probably are not considering it for your soft furnishings or your bigger pieces of furniture like your sofa. But silver is such a beautiful color. It's quite understated, it's unusual, and it's also very, very timeless. I think that using silver in your home works as a perfect alternative to brass if you're looking for that cooler toned uh, scheme. Now, please though, if you're gonna be using silver, choose hues that have a warm undertone regardless. That's gonna offer that cozy feeling that I think is gonna be very popular in 2020. All right, the last color is here and I left this one for last purposely because I know it's not a color color. They're neutrals, but I still think they're very relevant for 2020 because there will always be a need for an easy color to work with, an easy color to pair. Although people are gonna probably want to skip the stark walls and the white kitchens, they still want a light neutral they can rely on. And I think cream is gonna be just that color for those types of people. Not only is it a great base to work on, but it's also classic and it's warm enough to offer that coziness you probably are seeking for. All of the colors I discussed can be used as a starting off point for both your interiors and even fashion. I always like to look at fashion shows and use some inspiration from there. If you have any other color that you find are gonna be popular in 2020, please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, share it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Roundup of colors for 2020.